This is the Laboratory of Hyperbaric Biomedical Research and we're funded by the Office of Naval Research Undersea Medicine Program. And what we do here is look at basic mechanisms of problems that Navy divers uh, encounter when they start breathing gases under pressure, which is what they do when they go diving. We, our main focus is central nervous system oxygen toxicity, which manifests itself as seizures. The Navy's goal and what we're trying to help them with is to determine a way that we can predict onset of seizures as well as possibly delay them. Really, Navy divers do not spend longer than 10 minutes and 50 feet of seawater because of the risk of seizures. What we do here are animal studies. We do anesthetize as well as uh, awake and freely behaving animals. And in these studies, we are looking at oxygen under pressure, which mimics what a Navy SEAL would be breathing with a rebreather, pure oxygen. We take them down uh, deep enough to the point where oxygen becomes a drug and it can induce seizures. What makes these oxygen toxicity seizures so dangerous is that they occur with very little uh, warning. And so you'll be fine and then maybe there'll be some auras you'll hear, ears ringing, some brainstem mechanisms seem to be activated and then you'll go into a grand mal seizure. And so if you're underwater, obviously that's not good. It's a unique lab. We've spent uh, a number of years modifying cutting edge cellular physiology and animal physiology techniques. Uh, modifying them for use in, in adverse environments like hyperbaric pressure as well as high altitude which is the other extreme. And so um, we've been able to apply these uh, very powerful research tools to these unique conditions and that's why the Navy's been supporting us, actually supporting my lab since 2000. The main goal of our lab is to develop and test ketone supplementation to mitigate CNS oxygen toxicity seizures. And out of that research, we observed some interesting cellular effects. And uh, I guess it was about five years ago, we started to do cancer research. So in addition to research on uh, seizures and oxygen toxicity, we've developed a cancer research program where we look at the ketogenic diet and ketone supplementation. Ketones can be thought of as, I like to think of them as water-soluble fat molecules that have the ability to uh, enter the brain and be used as a source of energy when glucose is either not available or there's impaired brain energy metabolism. And in addition to uh, functioning as an alternative energy substrate for the brain, they also have unique signaling properties, including uh, a reduction in reactive oxygen species, and they have anti-inflammatory properties. And they have properties that enable them to uh, maintain brain homeostasis. So under conditions where there's a dysregulation in either brain energy metabolism or excess hyperexcitability of the brain, uh, the elevation of ketone bodies in the blood uh, has the ability to sort of enhance and preserve uh, and normalize brain activity. And that's why we think the ketogenic diet has been remarkably effective for the metabolic management of drug-resistant seizures. We wanted to develop more or less the ketogenic diet in a pill. Uh, or in a, a liquid form that could be taken as a supplement and mimic the neuroprotective effects of the ketogenic diet, but without having to necessarily follow the strict guidelines that are typically associated with sustaining and achieving nutritional ketosis. The way that we do our studies in the lab, we give the supplement 30 minutes before we do a dive with high pressure oxygen and within 30 minutes time and hours after that, uh, the ingestion oral consumption of a ketone ester would provide neuroprotection in that environmental extreme of high pressure oxygen. And when we completed a study in rats, we demonstrated that uh, when ketone esters were ingested, that we could delay the onset of CNS oxygen toxicity seizures by about 600%. So we think that these results would probably be similar in humans. So uh, it could potentially extend mission capability and safety of the warfighter.
While we were studying the neuroprotective effects of the ketogenic diet and ketone supplementation, uh, we observed that, um, that cancer cells were sort of selectively vulnerable to high pressure oxygen. So we created microscopes where we could actually do experiments under high pressure oxygen. And we also observed that cancer cells failed to grow and, and uh, proliferate uh, when grown in the presence of ketones, supplemental ketones that were in the medium. Many students come to me, uh, they're very interested in this, this cancer research because it represents a non-toxic strategy to metabolically manage cancer and it may also enhance the efficacy of standard care, uh, chemo and radiation, and be a way to further enhance the standard care therapies.